For Body Chemistry Associates and Health Connection Radio, I'm your host, Jay Foster. Today, we want to talk about some of the symptoms that can come from imbalances in your blood sugar, and believe it or not, insomnia, having trouble sleeping, getting to sleep and falling asleep may be due to a blood sugar instability. And we've had very good success with uh, insomnia without medications. How does blood sugar play a role? Well, your blood sugar can drop for one of two reasons. One is you eat something that's like refined sugar or even alcohol can uh, cause it to go down. You get a reaction where it comes up real quick and then drops. And or not eating enough, going too long without food. Let's say you finish dinner at six, seven o'clock and you go to sleep at 1130 and you don't have anything in between. That's fasting hypoglycemia. If the blood sugar drops down, you may have trouble getting to sleep. But what if it happens in the middle of the night? Your blood sugar drops down around two, three in the morning. You wake up, toss and turn, can't get back to sleep. Why does that happen? Well, when your blood sugar fluctuates, when it drops, you can feel tired and cloudy thinking and depressed and headachey and just not feeling well energy-wise. But the real reaction comes from your body's response to that because if your blood sugar goes to zero, you pass out and die. So your brain interprets that as an emergency and it causes a release of the fight or flight hormone epinephrine commonly known as adrenaline the fight or flight hormone adrenaline is released to drop to stop the drop in blood sugar and bring it back up to a safe level for the brain and the body so you don't die now side effects of all that adrenaline can be nervousness and anxiety and panic attacks irritability hyperactivity heart palpitations acid indigestion, nausea, and if it happens during the night, it can be insomnia. Try going to sleep on 20 cups of coffee. Or what happens if someone you were sleeping soundly and then around 2, 3, 4 in the morning, someone comes in and injects you with some kind of a speed like adrenaline. Well, you'd wake up, toss and turn, couldn't get back to sleep. Some people think they wake up to urinate, especially men, and it may be a prostate issue, but you know, the adrenal glands, adrenal means above kidney, they sit right on top of both kidneys. So if your blood sugar drops and you stimulate your adrenals, you may stimulate urine production and that may wake you up. So the, the key here is to avoid refined sugar, eat a little protein before bed, and a fatty protein's better, like a hard-boiled egg or a chicken leg or uh, some kind of fatty protein. And just a little bit, not a six-course meal right before you go to sleep. And I'm talking about within, you know, 30, 45 minutes of actually trying to go to sleep. Most people feel better and their blood sugar is better and they sleep later. Uh, they don't wake up as soon or they get to sleep easier. Now, sometimes people need magnesium. If you've never tried it, maybe 100 milligrams of uh, magnesium. Ours is called magnesium-125. It's a very well-tolerated one. Uh, you might need one of those before bed and or other factors. Now, you got to be careful with melatonin. We start melatonin doses around a half a milligram. That's 500 micrograms. Unfortunately, on health food store shelves, you could find five milligrams. That's 10 times more than I ever start with. And I don't start with high doses like that because melatonin is a hormone and you can throw other hormones off. So uh, the best way is to find out, do you have a magnesium deficiency? Do you have a blood sugar imbalance? Do you have other things that your doctor may have overlooked that's causing the insomnia? And uh, whether you have trouble getting to sleep or staying asleep throughout the night, we've had very good success at a natural approach in our body chem programs at Body Chemistry Associates. We have local and long distance programs available. Give us a call at 1-800-CHEMIST, 1-800-243-6478. On the web, 1-800-CHEMIST.COM. For Body Chemistry Associates and Health Connection Radio, I'm your host, Jay Foster. We'll be back on a future podcast with new topics in a very short time.